yes, 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 yes. In the game now. Get in there. Yes. Yeah, bro. We needed this one. Nice one. Nice. Whew. I think that's a really important fish. The teams are assembled. Glory or regret awaits. Everything hangs on the next four hours. Welcome to the final episode of Fox Rage Street Fighters. Welcome back to the fourth and final episode of Fox Rage Street Fighters. The second session of day two in Liège sees our four teams all still battling hard. Following this morning's action, the points see the French in the lead, with the Germans and Dutch tied for second, while the British are yet to score and last on the board. Lengthwise, just 68 centimetres separates first and second place, with only two good-sized pike or Xander being needed by last place to flip the scoreboard right on its head. Which team will lift the Street Fighters 2019 trophy and be crowned champions? Let's find out. First up, Team Benelux, with the Dutch guys hoping to transform the second place of this morning into the top spot by the end of the day. What's the plan for the final session then, Taj? Um, we're just gonna cover a lot of water. We're doing that with some hornets, casting them a bit behind us, and then walk along the wall where we had elbow bites uh, the last days. And if we get some bites, we will cast over it a few times. That's it. Fish. Perch. Yep. Got it. Well, first minute and a perch. Nice. He already came off. Well done, mate. Thanks. All wrapped up in the net. Trying to get it out. Yeah, it's off. That's for later. The minimum is 25. Yeah, I think he'll make it. Let's see. 33. Nice fish. Nice fish, mate. Our first perch of the competition. 33 centimeters. There is room for um, a bigger one, so I'll try that right now. Nice one. Let's get it back. An excellent start for the Dutch, with that perch putting them just five centimetres behind the Germans as they chased them down for the second longest length of the day. But have Team UK started as strongly? Here we are, last roll of dice, second session, day two. Um, we had a serious gruel of the swarding. We managed two Xander, one small one, one counter. Uh, it was about the only two bites we've had. Um, listening to the results, 
some of the other lads have caught a few more. I mean, the French team are nibbling away at the Germans. In fact, they've overtaken the Germans and the Germans are letting it slip. Um, Benelux have done well with one big Xander. Uh, we've decided we have literally got to roll the dice. So we've come down here, um, a new spot, just to um, have a try at our more traditional English small perch fishing. See if we can bang a few 25 centimetres out, catch somebody up. We're not going to give it long, half an hour. Uh, if not, we'll be back to what we've been doing. However, we don't really feel like we're getting anywhere. You know, we're sort of um, just going through the motions, really. So uh, this afternoon, we've really got to pull our finger out. If we can get some, some small perch and start getting some numbers together, that'd be great. Uh, if we can't, as soon as this, this temperature starts to die down a little, we'll um, go and target the Xander again. All week, if you're doing, going small down the inside, we've been getting grondles, but we've come to a new area where it just looks a little bit different. So we've gone two gram jig heads, micro fry, tiddler fast, just to see if we can find some perch, because this week we've had one perch between us and you know, both Kev and I'd say myself, we're, I think we're, we're more than reasonable perch anglers. Um, but literally we've, I've had one fish, one perch, and that's the only one that we've seen. Well, we see a couple more chase up behind, but they were only small fish. Um, we're just giving it a go, see what's what, but indications are, even on the, on the really small stuff, all the taps, they're grondles. I've had one already. Um, they're not quite as aggressive with a, a micro fry or a tiddler fast as they are with a, a nine centimeter lure, but um, We'll give it another five, ten minutes and then move on and uh, keep trying. So we've had a quick, what we call dibble down the inside. Um, it looks like it's going to be Grondel City. Uh, Trev's just going to confirm that. He's still persevering a minute. I'm just having a quick few casts here, see if we can uh, tempt Xander, see if there's any about. We're not going to waste any more time. I think we've already done enough of that today. Um, so literally five more minutes and back on the road. So, the British still struggling to find the fish. Time to see if Team Germany are faring any better as they chase down the French. Now, the first half of the second day is gone. Now it's back on, the last half is coming now and that's the final step for us to get uh, back on track. Now we are so far on second for the second day. Uh, the two sanders we caught in the morning, they secured us this spot, but um, the, the Frenchies, they are still around in the length, 60 centimeters uh, away of us, ahead of us. And we can get them quite easy if we can keep on going, so catching some good sized sanders because they were on the perch in the morning. So that means if we can have two sanders or at least one to get in the same uh, average size they have, we will be on track and uh, we are back in the competition. And then we will see if we can get some extra points. And I think this will be also our tactics. I will stay uh, now pretty focused. Uh, Took on the sander and uh, Patrick, uh, he will see if he can can't catch any, any perch because it seems that uh, today is the first day where the perch are feeding. And so we give it a try with some crankbaits and uh, some finesse rigs. So actually time is passing by fast in the afternoon, so we decided to set all on one card, everything or nothing. And we switched to a side which we haven't been so far, but um, I think we have to find the fish who are feeding now over the day and that's why we will go for 
For the distance, like I will using a little crankbait, a little hornet, just like uh, to to walk around the, the, the walls and uh, try to do some trolling action and uh, casting a bit as well, and seeing if there's any um, perch to find or maybe even a sander. Because like the gobies, they're sitting just on the wall, and uh, the, the predators have just to pick them up from the wall, and maybe we can catch one of these ones. So. See how it will go. So actually it's quite simple. I just cast it out, maybe 20, 25 meters, and then start it slowly to give him some hits to get it into the depth. And I'm just slowly walking to have a trolling speed around two and a half to three Ks. And this should be fine and bring the crankbait uh, to the death and hopefully to the fish. It's the right plan of attack for the Germans. And uh, yeah, straight on. It seems like it's a sander who caught my... Uh, he nailed it actually, I can't see the, the lure. Nailed my Salmo Hornet. Perfect. Good start. That's how, what we need. We need points. Need point to make. Yeah, it should be a size fish around 40. Just waiting for my mate, Patrick, that we can net it straight into the net. But this is what we need, fast step and having the points. Because we have to make some pressure on the branches. Slow, slow, slow mate. All good? Yeah, it's... no worries. No worries, snail one, that one. Perfect. So, get him into the net. Bam. Bam! That's what we need. Just give him slowly. I will prepare everything, having the net, uh, the map to measure it. Nice one. Uh, it will be dangerous because like it's always difficult if you're netting the sander with a hard bait because it's getting caught in the net quite fast. We don't want to do the same like silver net in the morning, like hitting the dribble into the hand, so... So, closing the eyes. Exactly 50. 50 points for Team Germany. Perfect start. The right plan, the right execution. Those Germans are playing to win and are now just 18 centimetres behind Team France to take the three points for longest length on day two and the overall win. The big question now is, can the French stop them? Last round of fishing, only four hours, so we'll need to, uh, to be quite efficient. So the plan is to make uh, long, not drift, but long walks uh, on, uh, on the walls, uh, plus the shadow areas uh, under the bridges. So actually we are just looking for shadow. Shadow from the wall and, uh, and shadow from the bridges. So we'll uh, do 100% structure uh, fishing uh, and luckily we could uh, hope for, I would say, well, if, I, if I have to make a, a bet, I would say two perch would be cool and a bonus zander would be awesome. But I think with three fishes, that would be already a good result. We need to avoid at any price, to, uh, at any cost, to blank. That would be terrible, because we are just one fish behind the, the German team. Uh, and they are really good anglers. I'm pretty sure they will catch a few. So we have no choice. We need to catch. Let's go. So this is the beginning of the last episode of Rage Street Fighter. Just the, the first spot with Sylvain. So this is the big linear. We first try to fish with the, the Hornet around the, the wall. And after I make a stop in this place, because we have a, a nice bridge, nice place, I search maybe the Dunder. We fish a few minutes and after we change directly the spot. So 
so we crossed the canal uh, to make a few casts here uh, so we can try the I mean both banks but still no bites so we'll move to the main uh, main river to the to the mass On the other side of the river, the pressure hits Team France hard. The Germans have caught something big, but more on that later. But then, this happens. C'est quoi, c'est quoi? I don't know. It's a good one. T'es où? Je viens en aval. Hein. Ouais, vas-y, vas-y. Attends, on est en mêlée cette. Vas-y, 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 Sylvain. Elle est en mêlée cette connasse. T'es où? Je sais pas où t'es. Ok. Ça va être un cendre, ça. Ouais, c'est un cendre, c'est un joli cendre. Allez, doucement, le tire pas vers le haut surtout. Yes. yes, 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 yes! In the game now! Back! Back to business! Allez! Yes! Euh, on va plus loin si tu veux? Ouais, ouais, ouais. On sera plus à l'aise. Ouais, vas-y, vas-y, roule. So we've just seen the German team. They got And uh, like two minutes after we saw them, Matt got this nice sender, which is zero. Put the zero on. 67 and a half. Yes. Allez, là faut qu'on la sort. It's the nice moment to catch this fish. Good timing. With crankbait again. A crucial fish for the French there and one that sees them now 82 centimetres ahead of the Germans on day two. But that's not counting the capture of the big fish that the French witnessed. More on that later. The top two teams are powering ahead, and it really is neck and neck. Let's see if the Dutch have done anything to catch them. Oh. one. That's a really small one. The minimum size is 25, so uh, this is not gonna make it. But the Hornet works. So we're letting this loose. Maybe there's a bigger one between them. With time ticking on, it's time for a change of venue. Well, I just missed a bite. I think a good sized perch. And I saw one following it. But last minute didn't decide to take it, so. Let's hope. Yeah, oh. What law have you got on Coon? I'm fishing with the uh, Sting, if I say it correctly. Redlin Sting. Just jerk it in. Another miss, another change of scenery for the guys. But they're not finding the fish they're looking for. Well, uh, little gobies. They're a hell to fish with. So, uh, you think constantly that you have a bite, but that's uh, these little fellas. So they are making us 
life a bit harder, but yeah, we deal with it. Now fish for some sender again. We're two hours into the final session. How are you doing, guys? It was really hard. On the first five minutes, we had a, a perch. Couldn't caught a smaller one. Yeah, as, uh, after that, I caught a smaller one. Then we had a, a time with no action, actually. And uh, I missed two fish. I had a follower from perch. Yep. And uh, yeah, you missed one uh, about a second ago. Yep. So we're now fishing into the evening and we're trying some other spots and hopefully for some good sender action. Tough fishing. Yeah, it's really tough and we're hoping to get some numbers to end up at a higher place than we are now on. So we I will think see. This spot won't deliver, so uh, next. Next one. Okay, new location, not long left to go. But it's not over until the fat lady sings. What's the plan now, guys? Well, uh, we didn't caught anything the last hours. Yep. And this is a spot where we caught a few nice zander early on. And um, we couldn't really fish on that side. <laughs> so now we got a stupid idea to, <laughs> to take off our shoes, get our pants up, and go through the shallow water to the front of the, um, the spot to right. try and catch a fish. Yeah, then we get uh, to the to the best spot. Then we fish uh, right in the current, so where the prey fish get uh, disordered. So let's hope there's some sender over there, and uh, let's make it worth. And don't fall in the water. <laughs> <laughs> The long, thin island here splits the flow of the main river. There are plenty of bait fish around, and where the guys are now fishing looks like it hardly ever sees anglers due to the problems of getting to it. Team Benelux could well be onto something here. And then, the gamble pays off. So, another 45 centimetres for the Dutch. As it stands, that puts them well into third place above Team UK, who are now languishing in last place. Let's see if the British can fight back and get up the table. We've moved up about two or three hundred yards, had a quick gabble with one of the locals, um, a few perks and sand around these stanchions and old boats, so 10 minutes and then uh, off to another spot. Couple more casts, then plan X. We've not got to Z yet. Oh. No, that leaves us two more plans. 
So I haven't just had a quick uh, broken English chat with one of the locals. They're, uh, they're primarily hard bait fishing for these um, Xander and uh, Asp brand here. So join them. Gone down to the uh, four centimetre Hornet. Um, giving it a whirl, only downside to it. I've just spotted three or four big green following me. I really don't want one of them on the Hornet. Um, fingers crossed we get a Xander, Pike, Asp, anything, but not a bream. How are you fishing this, Trev? I've got seven gram with a, a slick shad on. Fishing standard as we have been for the Xander. Oh, look at these bream down here. And then... To Xander, quick, it's really light okay. light. Steve, is there any steps anywhere? There's some there. It's a Xander. What is it? Hey, it's gonna never going to reach. Get to them steps, get to them steps. Oh, it's going to come off. How long is that there? Is that it? Get it at full length. Full, full, full length. I'm going to get full, full tilt. Length. Go on, you'll get it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, hold on, hold on. Be careful, Kev. Yes. Get in there! Yes! <laughs> you beauty. Right, plan X has if produced got, the fish. Got... Get us the mat then. Would you believe our biggest sander of the whole weekend has just come in? Our favour. All them other countries, they laugh that we use nerves like this. It might have just saved us. What a beauty. We needed that. We needed that bread. We needed that. So. Whoa, look at that, you guys. We've got 54. Happy? Yep. Happy? Yeah, more than happy, mate. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Mwah. Obviously, fish care. And there she goes. We're she having. We're she having. Right in there. Right in, in much of the pylon. Yeah, right in there, yeah, yeah. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, it's been such a day. We're sat here with our UK tiny lures, tiny rods, silly fine braid. There's bream everywhere. So I've had a tiny little bit take. Obviously think it's a brain. Until the Xander rolled on the surface. Get in there. With that fish giving the UK guys much needed centimetres and some hope, they've decided to stay in the area for a bit. It might be worth while me fishing that. Yeah. You're fishing at vertical. And then I'll just come over. If you get one, just holler. I'll just come over this way. Trevor, it's not over till the fat lady sings. That's right. Right, so Kev's going to carry on casting and I'm going to try some vertical right underneath here because we can do it. We can get right in tight and hopefully we might find another fish or two.
Try as they might, that second Xander did not appear for Team UK. Now though, it's time to see that fish the Germans caught. Hold on to your hats. This could change everything. Just cranking what I told you. Really nice one. Perfect. Really color. Perfect nice. Salmon Hornet! So, the moment of truth for us, the moment of truth for the Frenchies. I fix them here. Okay, so zero. Exactly zero. But we don't want to show you that yet. Just know this. If that pike is above 86 centimetres in length, the Germans are in first place. But they didn't stop there. A last gasp perch, just before full time on the whole competition. Remember, minimum size for the species is 25 centimetres. This could be close. We need 25, but uh, 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 one centimetre. Don't let him go. Drama right at the death. With things so tight at the top, as the French and Germans slug it out, fish for fish, has that perch just cost the Germans the crown due to a single centimetre? Let's find out. So that's it. After two days and four sessions of floor fishing, Fox Rage Street Fighters 2019 is done. Time to get the guys together and work out those points before crowning our champions. Okay guys, great two days fishing. Thank you all for coming. Have you had a blast? Certainly, so, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Hard Brilliant. work. Everybody's yeah. knackered, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Tired feet, tired legs, tired minds, but you've all fished really hard all the way through. It's been great. Now for the big finish. So we know yesterday it was tight. French made a great comeback in the afternoon four points on the board, some big fish and a good length. Germans after a great start, kind of let the French back in a little bit, but equal four points. The Dutch were hard done by, I think, and didn't get anything from yesterday. And the UK team managed to sneak a point for third place, which is great. Now, things have changed quite a lot from today. We know this morning, things changed around a little bit. Um, but there was everything to play for in the second session of today. And we got the results in. So, what we'll start with is fourth place. I don't want to say last place, it's fourth place. And that, unfortunately for me, goes to the UK team. Sorry guys. So today, 45 Xander and a 54 Xander for a total of 99. That means you're in last place today, so you only got one point 
from yesterday. But good effort, guys. I know how hard you fished, putting a lot of miles. Third place goes to the Dutch boys. They pulled it out of the bag today. Um, today I had a 73 Zander, a 33 Perch, and a 45 Zander. So they get a point for coming third today and a point for the biggest Zander of the day as well. So well done, guys. That's a great yeah, effort yeah, to pull it yeah, back. Now we're going to skip second and go straight to first. Okay, so it was tight, it was really tight. In fact, for length, there was only, what was it in the end, four centimetres in it. Four, four little centimetres. So lost fish might have cost somebody. But it was, with a sterling effort, especially after a bad start on the first day, the French who took first place. So well done, guys. Awesome. Had a lot of fish today, 46 perch, 30 perch, 34 perch, 68 Xander, another 68 Xander, just stonking result. Wasn't was the same much actually, but we picture it twice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, well done. Unfortunately that means you guys, the Germans, came second, but great hustle, great hustle. Um, you had a good day, 66 Xander, a 44 Xander, a 50 Xander and an 82 Pike. So that meant for the scores, you took your four from yesterday, you got two for coming second today and the biggest pike. So we thought the biggest pike might make a difference in the end, but it, it came down to those four centimetres, guys. So any lost fish, blame somebody. Uh, so there we go. Okay. So the Fox Rage Street Fighters trophy goes to Sylvan and Matt. Yeah. Well done. Well done, yeah. Matt. Thank you. Great fishing, guys. Uh. So, Team France are crowned champions of Fox Rage Street Fighters 2019. The big pike the Germans caught today measured in at 82 centimetres, but wasn't quite enough to beat the French after that second big Xander. It was so close. If a couple of lost fish had been caught and that last perch had been just a centimetre longer, it would have been a completely different story. But that's lure fishing. The results for day two then broke down like this. Lengthwise, the French measured in 246 centimetres for three points. The Germans just four centimetres less for 242 centimetres and two points, and the Dutch 150 centimetres for a point. Team UK measured 100 centimetres but scored zero points. Bonus points saw the Germans taking a point for biggest pike, the French a point for biggest perch, and the Dutch a point for biggest zander. Again, no asp were caught. With all of that in place, the final points for day two resulted in the French taking four points and the Germans three points, the Dutch two and the British zero points. With both days results totaled up, we have our final overall results. It was so close. Team France just beating Germany by a single point, while the Dutch worked hard to beat the British to third place, again just by a single point. A huge well done to our champions and to all of our anglers for competing in Fox Rage Street Fighters.